Houston, we're about to enter the dark side of the moon. Loss of signal in 30 seconds. Roger that, Odyssey. See you in 28 minutes. Happy sailing. Over and out. Time to sit back and enjoy the view, fellas. Sorry, fellas. Change of plans. We have to intercept Apollo 13 before it lands on the moon. And where's Commander Hayward? He and I need to have a little uh, chat. He's introducing the rest of the team to the flight director. Interesting. Why? Because we need somebody monitoring on the ground. These are flight controllers? Yes. They're with the uh, British space program. They're here to study our procedures. What's your area of expertise? I'm a booster systems engineer. They call me the rocket man. And him? Uh, he's a man of few words, but makes up for it with personality. All right, fine. But if any of you Brits get in the way of my controllers or jeopardize a safe return to our astronauts, you'll answer to me. Of course. All right. Good luck, fellas. Are you not sticking around? We might need you to run a little more interference for us. No can do. I gave up my life for that spear, and I'll be damned if I let anyone steal it now. I'm going with my grandson to space. Would you look at that? Outer space. Never gets old. Martin, how much longer before Apollo 13 should reestablish radio contact? 17 minutes. All right, we got 17 minutes to figure out what's going on before the whole world is watching. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Gideon, pull up Apollo 13's original flight pattern. We need to find her first. <clears throat> uh, Henry, perhaps now would be a good time to have a chat. Actually, Captain Hunter, I don't feel much like talking. You know, in 2017, men share their feelings. I'm just saying. My wife has spent the past 14 years raising our son by herself. And it is Captain Hunter's fault. The man has a wife and son, and still he asked me to abandon mine. He doesn't have a family. I mean, he did. It's just... They were killed. And I didn't know. You know, I often wonder what Hank would be like if you hadn't left. Yeah, I call my dad Hank. We don't have the best relationship, but I don't need to tell you all that. I am sorry, Nathaniel. This is all my fault. But once this is over, I am getting Captain Hunter to take me back to 1956. To the day I abandoned Betty and Hank. Wait, I was, I was just talking hypothetically. Why? I mean, this is a, a time ship, isn't it? It'll be like I never left my wife and son. Think of all the heartbreak I can save them. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we found Apollo 13. 